Hello, I'm Loretta Rose and welcome to Spotlight on Lee County today. Today, again, I am out in the Lee County area, out on location with someone you all may be familiar with this particular person's face. I'm excited because today I get a chance to put the face with the name. Welcome to the show, Sheriff Jay Jones. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am great. great. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate the invitation. Thank you. You know, when I saw you, and today was my first time getting a chance to meet you personally, when I saw you, I said, I've seen him on television. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, so this is Sheriff Jay Jones. And m might I add, when I walked through the doors, people were talking about how wonderful the person you are. And it's such a pleasure to have you um, a part of the group with the sheriff office. Well, it's, it's certainly my pleasure. And, and I have to say that uh, folks are, 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 have been very, very kind and uh, is, is deeply appreciated, of course. And you look so young, too. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. <laughs> well, um, for those that don't know, um, how long have Sheriff Jay Jones has been with the Sheriff Office? I've learned today there's a difference with the Sheriff Office and the Sheriff Department. Right, right. Uh, and, and, and to address that issue right off the bat, uh, uh, it's commonly referred to as Sheriff's Department and Sheriff's Office uh, interchangeably, and, and that's fine. But technically, it is the, the office of sheriff, mm -hmm. uh, and the sheriff uh, of each in county in the state of Alabama is uh, determined by the wording in the state constitution as constitutional officials uh, elected to a four-year term, just like the governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, treasurer, and, and everyone else, and of course, our representatives, representatives and senators in the Alabama legislature were all elected in the same election cycle, which will be next year, 2018, for Alabama. But, um, uh, I've been with the Lee County Sheriff's Office uh, since I was a senior, mm -hmm. in, uh, or in my senior year at Auburn University. Uh, it was an internship as part of the curriculum, and I ended up with the uh, Lee County Sheriff's Office. So this is my 42nd year uh, with the Sheriff's Office. Wow, 42nd. That's right. Oh, wow. You have been around for some time. Uh, I, I try not to think about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well you are doing such a great, amazing job, and you're so passionate. And, and I could tell that when I had a chance to talk to you briefly over the phone, we did a, like a brief interview, and I said, I look forward to meeting you because you're just so passionate and so patient, very informative, and, and I was like, sharing with you that I've never been in trouble with the law, and I had so many questions myself, and then other people in the community had questions as well, and you were just so gracious to spend so much time explaining the difference with this and that. Sure. So, but this is what I want to ask. What motivates you to go to work to be Sheriff Jay Jones? Well, actually there's, there's uh, um, several things, uh, but I'll try to pare it down a little bit. Um, one of the things that I enjoy most about the work that I do is the opportunity to, um, to help people. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I personally believe uh, that um, we are in the service business to the public. Uh, they have placed us in this position to protect and to uh, work with them to ensure that uh, we help folks when we can and keep our community safe. Um, I, I love the people I work with. That is mm -hmm. the, the, the best aspect of uh, my job, in my opinion, uh, are getting to work with really, really good-hearted professional people that do mm -hmm. such a wonderful job every day. And, uh, that's I, I could talk about uh, the personnel at the sheriff's office all day long about yeah. that, but that's that's my motivation. And also, I just I just want to see uh, people treated fairly. Uh, yes. I think fairness uh, is is a concept that uh, we strive to ensure every single day, yes. and that that is extremely important to to me. Um, in, in all the dealings I have with any individual, is it, hopefully that they can walk away from the circumstance and say, you know, I was treated fairly. And, and I think that's extremely important. Right. Well, you know, that comes across when people get a chance to communicate with you. And, and I feel that. And that is so important. And a lot of time, people lose focus to that it is service. Yes, that, that is service. the number one thing. It is a service vocation. Uh, and, and granted, we enforce the law, and we're certainly going to do that when the opportunity presents itself. Uh, that's our, one of our primary functions. But it is a vocation 
a profession of service to the public. Yes, and you all are doing a great job. I was I looking at online and I saw some of the reviews of the people in the community and they just had so many great things to say about your servicemen and women. And, uh, and we appreciate that. Now, there may be someone watching and they've heard of Jay Jones, Sheriff Jay Jones, saw you on television, see the sheriff's cars with your name on it. It all connected today for me. But I always believe there is someone behind the title. How can you best describe or help the people to know um, who Jay Jones is, the man behind the title? Well, um, I, uh, as you've already referenced, uh, uh, number one, I'm, I'm deeply passionate about, about what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I am I'm totally dedicated. I love, I love the work that I'm involved in. I love my job in working for the people here. I love Lee County. Uh, I, I can think of no other place I would rather be, uh, regardless of circumstance. Um, and uh, I, of course, uh, am married. My wife, Judy, and I live in Auburn. We have four children, have three grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, they've kind of scattered out, the, the, the children that is, but uh, we still are able to see them from time to time. And our grandchildren, uh, we're fortunate enough that they actually live in the city of Auburn, so uh -huh. where we reside, and, and that's wonderful. Um, I. Uh, yeah, we're we're animal lovers. We've we've got a dog and a cat, and and I have a real interesting uh, story about the uh, uh, our pet, our dog. Uh, his name is Memphis. He's from Memphis, Tennessee, okay. and was actually picked up by the police, uh, not because he was doing something <laughs> wrong, but uh, because they took pity on him. Uh, they uh, brought him in, and and uh, uh, a long story short, uh, he's down here and uh, and found his way to Lee County, and ended up being in an accident prior to coming and. Uh, unfortunately, I had to lose his leg, so we have a three-legged dog at the house, <laughs> along with our cat. Uh, but, uh, that uh, that dog and I like to run. I've I'm, I've been a runner uh, just about all my life. Wow! And, uh, road races and things like that, and. Um, I enjoy that, and he actually gets out with me from time to time. If I can get him off the floor, he likes to. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm, he's, a, he's one of those kind of dogs that likes to lay around a lot, <laughs> which is fine. That's kind of what they do. But uh, he he gets out with me from time to time, and uh, uh, we do that. Um, I um, uh, just really enjoy meeting people. I, mm -hmm. I enjoy uh, working with folks and and looking. Uh, for ways to solve problems and resolve mm. conflict. Um, that's that's some of the things I like to do. I'm originally from uh, Montgomery. I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, went to a high school at Sidney Lanier High School. Okay. Uh, some of your viewers are probably uh, Yes, Lanier. yes. Uh, and uh, when I uh, went to college, I left Montgomery, came to uh, school at Auburn, mm -hmm. at Auburn University, and have been here ever since. And started with the sheriff's office in the senior year of uh, my wow, university wow. Uh, curriculum. And, um, have uh, been here ever since. Been here ever since. So you are a family man, and that explains why um, when you talk to people, you're, you, there's such a great connection. There's such a great connection when I had a chance to talk with you. And so you're, you're like putting all the pieces to the puzzles. Um, what inspired you to go into law enforcement? I, I've, uh, at a very early age, in, in um, Actually, in elementary school, I always admired law enforcement officers, uh, and they had a, a school crossing guard that had uniforms, and they worked in, under the direction of uh, one of the uh, law enforcement officers, of the police officers in Montgomery. And, oh, I, that was my dream. I wanted to be, uh, since the second grade, I wanted to be, to, in the sixth grade, <laughs> mm. get to be a crossing guard. Wow. Um, unfortunately, I never was able to do that. I, I didn't get picked. But uh, I didn't let that deter me. That's I, right. I said, no, I'm still going to get it. I was involved in Boy Scouts, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, and, and Explorers um, when I was growing up. And uh, the Explorer post there was sponsored by the police department. Mm -hmm. And we worked with uh, the uh, law enforcement, with the Montgomery police from time to time. And uh, really enjoyed that. And, and uh, I made up my mind that I wanted to, of course, continue to pursue a uh, education uh, in the way of law enforcement, and that was the uh, basis of my degree from Auburn University is in, in criminal justice. Mm -hmm. uh, I continued later on at, uh, at Troy, at Troy State at the time, okay. University, and obtained a graduate degree, master's in criminal justice, and um, I've, I've done everything I can. I've always had the uh, desire to continue education because I believe training and education is the hallmark of professionalism. Yes. in public safety service. Yes, absolutely. Well, you're watching Lee County on Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose.
and we'll be back right after this. Tax time is here, not the time to buy. Stop the Gills Auto Sales, we can show you why. 2017 is here. It's tax time, and Gills Auto Sales is celebrating with a half-back sale. Buy the vehicle of your choice from any Gills location, and you can receive half your down payment back in cash. That's right, half your down payment back in cash. Six locations, over 400 vehicles to choose from. It's Gills Auto Sales half-back sale going on now. Gotta get the Gills. Gotta get to, gotta get to, gotta get the Gills. Being pampered is every day at Newsom's Tax and Accounting. Family owned and operated since 1996. They provided individuals and businesses with stress-free tax preparation. Plus, they offer referral fees and repeat customer discounts to all their tax clients. Dependable, accredited, and honest. Always working to get you the most from your return. Open year-round for accounting, payroll, business consulting, incorporation, and every need in between. Always pampering. Newsom's Tax and Accounting, Phoenix City. Welcome back to Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose and out on location today with Sheriff Jay Jones of Lee County. Thank you again, sir, for being a part of the show. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know, I have a question. What is the purpose of the Sheriff Department? Because that's something I would like to know. <laughs> sure, and, and, and a lot of times we have people ask the question because there's a little bit of confusion not uh, realizing exactly the difference between, say, Sheriff's Office Police Department the Office of the Sheriff is a constitutional office. Uh, mm -hmm. It's defined in the state constitution in Alabama, as it is in many states. Uh, and it, of course, requires that the Office of Sheriff be an elected position. It's a four-year term, uh, elected at large in the county. Mm -hmm. And there are several responsibilities that the uh, Sheriff uh, has that uh, are carried out by the office. Number one, of course, is to ensure public safety, uh, to uh, investigate reports of criminal activity, uh, to uh, uh, obtain evidence, identify and apprehend offenders, and present that uh, those cases that are prepared to the district attorney of the county for prosecution in the court system. One of the big responsibilities of the sheriff, a uh, huge responsibility, is the operation of the county jail. Uh, here in Lee County, uh, we uh, of course refer to it as Lee County Detention Center. We are a consolidated facility that uh, where it results that the cities of Auburn, the cities of Opelika, their police departments, uh, if they take someone into custody, uh, they are brought to our facility uh, to arrange for bond to be made mm -hmm. and what have you, or to be held until such a time as a court appearance, whatever the circumstances right. are. Uh, but um, in years past, each of the agencies had their own jail facility, but now we do it all at one location. The Sheriff's Office here in Lee County, mm -hmm. we have over, uh, right at 175 personnel they work with the sheriff's office. Of that 175, they're divided up into various divisions, uh, into patrol division, which is the most visible mm -hmm. that everyone would see out mm -hmm. on the streets, of course, mm -hmm. in uniform, uh, answering calls, 911 calls. Um, and then, of course, we have our corrections officers, we have investigations, we have uh, our court security division, uh, we have our administration division, wow. and we have a school resource division, which we're extremely proud of, uh, that has gotten accolades from uh, not only in the state of Alabama, but nationally. Uh, they work with our school system, I love administrators, that. teachers, students yes. to establish positive relationships between yes. law enforcement and young people. I love young that. People. Is that what I saw where the students were having a tour in yes. the facility? Oh that, my would, God. that would probably be correct. Uh, they, we need that. Oh, uh, we, we are very, very uh, dedicated to our school resource program with our Lee County School Board uh, and we uh, in our school system. You know, I love that you're sharing that because a lot of time the community don't get to see that and right. hear that and we need that today Absolutely. to help bridge that disconnect with our with the citizens and with our young people in our law enforcement as well so I love that because you don't get to see a lot of that no. and, and that's something that we, we try to uh, educate folks about and and uh, we like to uh, get that information out to the public that uh, we're working uh, with the school systems and particularly with our young people mm -hmm. uh, because we, we uh, bottom line is we want them to be successful yes. and we want them to know uh, that that's where we're coming from Absolutely. and uh, we've gotten some great great response from our young people through the years that's wonderful and working with them uh, conducting programs on uh, as far as uh, staying away from drugs and, mm -hmm. and using something other than violence to settle conflict. Absolutely. And, and that's, I think, uh, in this day and time, yes. that's needed more than that. Absolutely. And you know, you're going to inspire some other students 
along the way. Well, you know, I had a question that came in last night, and this is um, a good question. Um, someone mentioned about with all that's happening today that the media is presenting regarding law enforcement, what is Lee County doing to ensure their residents in the community that they can trust our law enforcement in Lee County? What are we doing here to ensure safety, um, trust, and beliefs in the system here? Sure. That goes back to um, communication yet again. Yes. Um, I, we work very hard to uh, keep our uh, all of our citizens informed about what we're doing, mm -hmm. uh, especially if it results in anything that deals with public safety. That That is uh, the, the safety of our community. First and foremost, uh, we want to ensure that we're getting that information out there to help people to be safe. Mm -hmm. uh, we have various programs that we conduct through the Sheriff's Office, uh, one of which right off the top of my head is our RAD program. Uh, it's a rape aggression defense program that is for women only. Uh, mm -hmm. We do community courses throughout the year uh, where uh, women in the community can come in and it is not a self-defense course primarily but it does have physical aspects in regard to actions that uh, a woman can take if she finds herself under threat mm -hmm. but it is a lot about awareness a lot about avoiding circumstances that put you in danger mm -hmm. uh, and then of course if that's a circumstance that is unable to uh, be avoided it provides uh, a woman with methods to hopefully uh, escape uh, and avoid the conflict. And it is a great program. It's taught by our women deputy sheriffs. Oh. Uh, they're very good at it. The only time that a, a male deputy is involved mm -hmm. in the course is on the last night where they actually get to practice some of those physical skills <laughs> on that poor deputy. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, that's just one of our programs. We offer a firearm safety course uh, throughout the year, several oh. months in the year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my personal belief that uh, people uh, should be able to exercise their Second Amendment right. I think that's wow. extremely important. Yes. But uh, I certainly want them to have the knowledge to be mm -hmm. competent and mm -hmm. responsible with mm -hmm. that power, which, yes. is, which is critical. Education important. is key. Edu back to the education. <laughs> uh, yes. But we're very much believe in, in, in helping our community yes. in that regard uh, with uh, giving them good practical information mm -hmm. to be safe. That's awesome. Uh, especially with, uh, with firearms. And then, of course, uh, we offer other programs that to work with our senior citizens. Uh, that help them. Uh, we have a program that uh, for folks with uh, uh, that may be experiencing dementia issues and things like that. It's a radio uh, locator that we can assist families with oh. to keep, uh, if their loved one were to for some reason become lost or maybe even wander off, that we can locate them and get them home oh, safely. Oh, wonderful. Uh, just a few of the things that That's we do that quite a um, bit. work to communicate with our community. You know, I've never heard of that. You know, and these are things you're informing the community and we're highlighting great things that are happening that a lot of t we don't even know of. And I love that about self-defense and, and things like that, which leads me to my next question. I was going to ask you, do you have any tips to share with us, but you've just given us a quite a bit. Because some of us, you know, there's some people and you got elderly, you know, they just don't think about to be aware of this. And, and my husband always say, always be uh, aware of your surroundings. He always say that when we leave out here, like always be aware of your surroundings. What type of tips, other tips, because you've just given us quite a few, anything else that will help us in the community, neighborhood watch, or things to be mindful of, uh, because you know, with theft and people, you know, going in cars and breaking in houses, things like that, give us some safety tips. Well, the first one I would give is exactly what your husband <laughs> said. Uh, situational awareness, being aware of your surroundings. Uh, we talk with individuals that uh, have been arrested for uh, different types of offenses, robberies, assaults, and what have you. And one of the things we do um, is, is debrief them, literally, about, you know, why did you pick this particular person? Or why did you pick this mm -hmm. particular home? Or why did you, you know, why did you uh, make the decision you did in regard to convenience? And invariably, uh, they will tell us, well, if I'm going to uh, commit a crime against somebody, mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'm going to look for somebody that's not paying attention. Wow. Every time. And and, wow. and, and with that said, um, we always emphasize to the public to please be aware of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself in a position 
where you might become a victim of crime. That's Just true. some simple common sense things. For instance, uh, if uh, particularly ladies, if they're out late at night shopping, parking in well-lighted areas, uh, looking to see other people, uh, going in groups, mm. not being by yourself. In because, and I know that's you can't always do that. I understand that, but. If you do, just making sure that perhaps you plan your trips or plan your times uh, when you're shopping or whatever that would be more conducive to safety, for instance, uh, daytime as opposed to nighttime, if at all possible. Yes. Um, going at busier times, of course, we all uh, want to find parking places closer yeah. in, but, mm -hmm. but sometimes mm -hmm. there's safety in numbers. There, there, that's, that, right. that's the true thing. And um, just simply paying attention to your surroundings is very, very important. One of, and some of the crimes we see most in our area, day in, day out here lately, um, are involving car break-ins. We see a lot of vehicle burglaries uh, in our area. Probably, I would say, that's we respond to that almost on a daily basis. Wow. And the things that we always tell people, just very common sense things, if you have valuables in your car, please take them out mm -hmm. and put them inside. I know it's sometimes it's you have to carry things back and forth, and right. it can become, but it's worth it. It's worth uh, it. If you remove the mm -hmm. opportunity for a crime to occur, you're going to stop the crime from mm -hmm. happening. That's very simple. Mm -hmm. And removing your valuables from your car, locking your car, um, taking the keys, making sure that you uh, uh, leave nothing of value visible in right. the vehicle right. for individuals to be tempted to, to take. And that's what they're looking for. Right. Uh, another thing we see are, are home burglaries. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a tremendous number of residential areas, especially in our southeastern sector of the county, the Smith Station area, mm -hmm. Salem Smith Station. Mm -hmm. A lot of people working uh, yes. in Columbus and Phoenix City. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we have a lot of neighborhoods where there is no one home during the daytime because yeah. generally everyone's it's working, working. Mm -hmm. or in school, what mm -hmm. have you. Uh, we recommend that um, people pay attention to suspicious activity mm -hmm. in their neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. If they see something suspicious, say something, mm -hmm. call their mm -hmm. local law enforcement, call us. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't mind. Uh, yeah. We'd much rather get that call and go out and check it out and make sure that it's not something uh, that is suspicious. Well, right. somebody out up to no good. And right. a lot of times when we get those calls, we've actually been able to apprehend individuals wow. literally in the act. Good. Simply because someone was suspicious yes. and took the time to report it. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I think I'm grateful I have some neighbors and and one uh, one of the, she calls when ev anything oh, yeah. that looks like is abnormal. <laughs> Somebody had a car that pulled up in your driveway this color. Do you know who that is? Right. And I was like, Well, thank you. Wow. That's so, what, so are there still neighborhood watch? Yes, yes, we have neighborhood watches. We have uh, one of our investigators will come out and meet with people when they organize uh, a meeting in, the, in their local neighborhoods and just give them some of the tips, some of the things I just mentioned, uh, basically that. But um, the concept really is just about neighbors looking out for one another. That's, that's a big issue uh, and, and really is the basis for why these programs in neighborhoods are successful. Uh, so getting to know your neighbors, uh, mm -hmm. knowing which vehicles are, are supposed to be in the area and which ones might not be, uh, hence the issue for suspicious activity. Um, just being not beyond the point of nosy, but a little bit nosy doesn't hurt. Of course, uh, just making sure you can write down descriptions, things that you can provide to your law mm -hmm. enforcement agency to us to help us right. to identify and apprehend individuals right. that are engaged in criminal activity. Um, social media uh, has been an assistance. Um, social media is a, a, a positive and negative aspects, as everyone mm -hmm. knows, mm -hmm. but uh, certainly um, just being um, providing accurate information mm -hmm. is, is a key. Uh, not speculating, not going beyond what what it uh, what it might appear, and in, in trying to assign a particular purpose to it. But uh, right. uh, we we do uh, document social media. We have a website. We okay. have a, a web page that we use, mm -hmm. uh, a social media page, and. Uh, we're, that's not our first responding area. Phone calls are still the best to 911, obviously. Okay. But uh, we do pay attention, but we would recommend people please pay attention to their surroundings and, and let's wow. see back suspicious activity. Awesome. We're getting a lot of great information. We'll be right back with more Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose. Without saying a word, it can tell you so much. Like 
someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that could make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. Welcome back to Spotlight on Lee County. I'm Loretta Rose, your host of today. Today, out on location with the wonderful Sheriff Jay Jones. He has given us a wealth of information. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, it's my pleasure. The, the, the more information we can get out to the public, the, the better we feel. Wow, and, and you just so passionate. Thank you so much. I feel so enlightened more about um, the community. And again, I live in the Lee County area, so mm -hmm. I, and I love it here. And I just love the relationship that you all build with the community. That is so important. Oh, absolutely. That is so important. As we bring the show to a close, is there anything else you would like for the community to know? Well, just that um, we, we really encourage the interaction between our, our, our community, our members of communities, and, and our office. Uh, that is, that's what we feel like is one of the most important things that we can do. Uh, we, we want to get to know our areas, we want to get to know our people, and we want them to know us. Yes. Um, again, we, we are a service organization, that's what we're there for, uh, and uh, we want to do everything we can to make our community safe, to make our neighborhood safe, because we live here. Yes. Uh, we, we, we have our children in school here. We, we shop here. We, we do everything that anyone else that lives in Lee County does. And, and, and we love Lee County. We, we, we want to make sure that everything we do is geared toward keeping our community safe and mm -hmm. protecting our citizens. Um, and, in, and so they can have a good quality of life here in Lee County. And uh, that's what I want, the message I'd like to send uh, mm -hmm. out to, uh, to all the viewers and uh, anyone that um, uh, is interested we we really are dedicated to being of service to the public and certainly invite their their calls uh, invite any questions at any time we have a website okay. uh, that folks can go to and, and get a, a pretty good bit of information okay. we have a uh, smartphone app uh, but if you just enter Lee County Sheriff it'll pull it up and yes. you can download our app it gives you information uh, on everything from reporting crime online yes. uh, to uh, identifying where sex offenders may be uh, living in an area or mm -hmm. news of events that occur right away that mm -hmm. we can get warnings out to the public about okay. maybe a road being blocked okay. or a storm circumstance ties in with our emergency management agency mm -hmm. uh, and just gets general information out there wow. just simply on your smartphone so uh, we work hard to communicate with the public and uh, that's something we're very dedicated to do. Thank you sir. Yes ma'am. Yes, this has a been pleasure. a pleasure. It really has. Thank you so much. Thank you. It has been a pleasure to sit down one-on-one -on -one with Sheriff Jay Jones. As you heard it from him, they are open to relationships with the community. They are open and available for your questions and all of that. So thank you so much for tuning in today on Spotlight on Lee County. Out here on location in the Smith Station area in Lee County, I'm Loretta Rose. Until next time, 